It's National Ravioli Day, and we're celebrating by learning to make the delicious stuffed pasta here at Osteria in downtown Tampa. Yeah, we have uh, one part uh, Durham flour and one part double zero Italian pasta flour. And you actually ship in that flour from Italy? Correct. Okay. And the so next step? Just gonna turn on the Robocu, add a little salt, and then it's usually two cups of uh, flour to four eggs. And that, but it depends on the humidity that day. A lot of variables in it, so you just kind of got to learn to do it by feel. And when the dough feels right, it's time to knead it, because we all need ravioli. The dough then goes through a processor to make it super thin, so it's tender and cooks faster. Then it's time to fill the pasta with cheesy goodness. This is a ricotta, spinach, parmigiano-reggiano, and a little bit of nutmeg. Ravioli can be any shape or size, but this recipe is an authentic Italian staple. This is a dish that I've had uh, when I lived in Parma. Every restaurant, this is their most common pasta, and they would serve it in every single restaurant they had. A different variation of it. The way Osteria tops it off is with a simple sauce. That's right. So first we start off with a little butter and sauté garlic. Then we're going to add cherry tomatoes. Just going to let that cook down for a second. And then we'll drop the pasta in the pasta water. You want to cook it about three quarters of the way in the water and then the rest in the sauce. Bon appetit. I'm Lila Gross in downtown Tampa. Back to you.